Hello and welcome to FMOD in 2 Minutes, the series for beginners in game audio implementation. Today I thought it would be really cool to talk about how to set up your project for the very first time. So you've just started working on a game and what you might do in preparation. So here's what I've got basically, a template that I have modeled very closely around the uh, Celeste FMOD project, which is on the learning resources of the FMOD site. I will link it in the description. I highly recommend you download it and have a look. But basically all of these naming conventions you see up here are taken from that. Character, enemy, environment, which would include ambience and any interactables, uh, UI, NPC, that sort of stuff. It's a good place to start. It covers most of the bases. Inside character you can see I've added player for the time being. And in there I simply add all the events that I need. I don't put player in front of each event, for example, like player underscore dash, for instance. There's no need, because if you do that, when you go into your mixer, you'll end up having these events um, twice, saying character, player, player, sword. It's just, it's no point. It's a lot neater if you just say precisely what the event is and put it in a folder. The other cool thing about FMOD is that you can color code, as you can see here. Now, the first main reason is that it looks pretty. Look at that, looks lovely. The other reason is that it, it's just another added layer of organization. It's quick, you know, muscle memory to know blue is character, red is enemy, for instance. Another plus is that when you go into the profiler window, which we will talk about in another video, if you have a suspected event that's giving you trouble, you can simply click on it, give it a color, and then that color will show up in the profiler. So you can see exactly what that event is doing while you test. If we head over to the banks window, you can see that I've just set up a music, sound effects, and UI bank. That's it for now. As I've mentioned in other videos, you might want to add a level one bank, a level two bank. It really depends on the game. This for now is enough to cover the general bases. And in assets, I've done the same as my events. I've given them each folder so I can neatly import my new assets into their relevant folder. What's also cool is that you can add an event for your notes. Again, I've taken this from the FMOD project by Celeste, by Power Up Audio. Down here, basically, I can add whatever text I want. In this case, I've added a little naming convention in case, I don't know, a developer needs to find their way around your project or just to remind yourself to keep it, you know, on track with it. In the mixer window for the routing, I've added everything under a new master bus because I like to be double organized. And within that, again, I've added gameplay sound effects, music, and UI sound effects. Again, this is enough to begin with. So all the gameplay sound effects would go in here. So ambience, character, again, I'd add separate groups for them. A quick note on the naming. If, if I add the same name of the folder to the events that we have here, it means that when I search and group everything, I can simply type in character and all the character events show up and I can simply drag and drop them in there. And I would do the same for all of these so that nothing's left kind of loose and not within a folder. Another thing you can set up before you start working on a project are your VCAs. VCAs are essentially another layer of controllability for your mixing. You can add a VCA, call it whatever you want, and then drag in a bus group into it just like that, and then adjust the volume down here. It just saves you from adjusting the volume of the group itself and gives you another layer of controllability when adjusting volumes of large amounts of sound effects. Again, for now, I've just added the basics, gameplay sound effects, music, and UI. I think that's enough to get you started. Now with snapshots, without getting too specific until you really understand the game, usually you need something like a mute for the music, a mute for the sound effects, and I put in a pause menu here, just ready and waiting for when I need to add that to the gameplay. I've also prioritized them in terms of groups, high, medium, and low, because again, remember this is a priority list, so whatever you put on top will override everything below. It might be an idea here to also add some snapshots for your reverb, maybe, I don't know, a long distance reverb, medium, short reverb with early reflections. Again, just in preparation, it's totally up to you, just an idea. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, just a quick rundown of some of the things you should set up before you even think about uh, populating your FMOD with assets that you've created in your DAW. As an extra to this video, I have added a download link to this exact project that you can use however you see fit. Download it, use it on commercial projects, free projects, whatever. Take it, it's yours. I hope you found it useful.